Ted Malik was an informal advisor to the Donald Trump campaign. In March, he says he was detained at an airport by investigators for, for Robert Mueller, who took away his cell phone and asked about his ties to Roger Stone, among other things. He is also the author of the book, The Plot to Destroy Trump, How the Deep State Fabricated the Russian Dossier to Subvert the President. Ted Malik joins us tonight. Ted, thank you for coming on. Good evening. Um, when you say you were detained, tell us this. I mean, that's kind of a remarkable story. Tell us the circumstances of this. Well, especially for a Yale, Oxford, Henley Business School professor to be stopped at an airport, taken into a room and asked questions by the FBI and having their phone then uh, under a warrant seized. But I write about this in the book as a postscript, and my lawyers tell me not to confirm or deny very much about this because I'm still actively participating in this conversation. I, I don't understand. Why would that put you in legal peril if you believe the government overstepped and detained you at, this is at Logan Airport in Boston, right? You're flying in from abroad. Correct. They pull you aside, take your cell phone and ask you questions. You have no lawyer present, is that correct, during this conversation? None at all. Okay, so, so how, I mean, why would you be in jeopardy by exercising your First Amendment right to explain the truth? Well, I have explained it as a postscript to the book and actually detailed it, and I'm told that the FBI is not all that happy about that fact. So, therefore, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really at liberty to say a whole lot more about where this stands at present. Right. Give us a sense, though, when you, when you sat down, you, you had no lawyer. It's generally not advised to talk to the FBI without a lawyer. Did they just grab you as you got off the plane, and what did you say to them when they did? Uh, yeah, well, th they they had me wait for about 20 minutes, as I say, and then uh, divided me for my wife and then uh, searched my uh, belongings and took me to, uh, you know, a, a separate building to introduce me to two FBI agents who asked me a series of questions. Actually, it was quite chit-chatty for about 20 minutes. As a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles, they asked me what I thought of their victory at the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. that, that's what they said to Mike Flynn, too, during his chit-chatty conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. Um, so they had a warrant for all of this, I assume. Is that right? They, correct. Okay. What did they ask you? Uh, well, as I, as, I, as I said in the, uh, in the postscript, you know, there were very few substantive questions, uh, some about individuals, uh, you know, what my relationship was to the campaign. They seemed to know all the answers to the questions. Did you consider saying, buzz off, I'm not going to answer your questions? Well, I, I think had they gotten any, any more aggressive, then, you know, in fact, that would have been the case. But uh, they were fairly benign. I'm a patriotic American. I'm, you know, a cold warrior. Right. I worked in the State Department. I was a uh, top American in the U.N. in Geneva, Switzerland for four years at the end of the Cold War. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm certainly willing to cooperate in, in, in any inquiry. I, I don't think I have much to add. Why do you think they wanted to talk to you? Well, my publisher thinks they had pre-read my book on the plot to destroy the president, which is, in fact, about the conspiracy, the, the first in, in American history since 1783 and the Newburgh conspiracy that tried to overthrow a sitting president of the United States. Hmm. Why did they ask you about Roger Stone? Uh, I, I have no idea. I mean, I've met Roger Stone three times. He did write the uh, forward to my new book because we have the same publisher. He gave an address at Oxford University about uh, eight or ten weeks ago. And it was a, a pretty compelling story about what happened in the 2016 election. And we had it transcribed. I had attended that lecture. And um, uh, we used it as the uh, forward to the book. So maybe they read more into that than is the case. What'd they do to your phone? You said they had a, they had a warrant for your phone? Uh, yes, they confiscated my phone, and I'm told it's been returned to me, uh, and I should be receiving it any day. They took your phone away. How long have they had it? Well, since that day, which was before Easter. <sighs> I'd be pretty annoyed. Ted, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Good to be with you, Tucker. Thanks.